ZBrush, like most 3D software, has a Boolean system. If you don't know what Boolean is, it simply lets you combine objects to create more interesting and complex shapes by using an additive, subtractive, or intersection mode. But what ZBrush does that is special and will literally blow you away is that it lets you use this tool in a live way, allowing you to sculpt and model and move all the different parts until you have your perfect end results. To get started, I'm going to turn on this big live boolean button right up here, which will turn on the previewing of the live boolean. Next, we get to choose which one of these objects is the start of the hierarchy. I'm going to choose the sphere. So I'm going to go ahead and click this arrow button right here, which sets my sphere as the starting point. This is the object that everything else is going to boolean. In order for it to properly boolean, you're going to need to overlap the objects in some way. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see it more interestingly. Do you see these three options right here? The first one is additive mode, which will boolean the both objects together, basically merging them at the intersection points. Then we have subtractive mode, which will subtract the object from the start object. So right here you see how wonderful. And then we have intersection mode, which will basically grab the areas where both objects intersect and only leave that behind. I'm going to do subtractive mode. And here's the cool thing. I can move, scale the rectangle as much as I would like. I can even rotate it. And it automatically continues to preview for me. Think of all the interesting things you can do with this tool. You can even sculpt on these as you wish. So I'm going to grab the side of the rectangle and pull it around. If I want to sculpt on the sphere, I can simply select that from the subtool palette and do so. I can smooth the rectangle. It's up to us. I'm using very simple shapes for this demo, but you can do this with extremely complex models. For example, I can use this anime head, make that the starting point. Maybe use one of the IMM brushes to add something interesting. So maybe the IMM spaceship parts. Grab some of these little bolts, nuts and bolts, drag them on. Then maybe go to split unmasked points. That way it separates them into two subtools. I'm going to turn off the start on the bolts and then perhaps turn them to subtractive mode. Move them in by selecting them first like that. And look at that. I can push them in for different results, rotate for it so that the other side comes through. There's so much you can do. You can even duplicate the meshes by control dragging them and it'll automatically update the Boolean. Keep in mind that live Boolean is just a preview mode. And this isn't actually Boolean, this is just previewing what the Boolean will look like. If you turn on polyframe mode, you'll notice that everything looks a little funky and we can kind of see the invisible mesh intersecting the other. Once you are ready to actually Boolean these together, set them in stone. Simply go to your subtool panel and hit Boolean. Make Boolean mesh. And that will make a copy of your mesh right up here in the tool panel that when you click, you'll see is the final Boolean. If I turn on polyframe mode now, you'll notice that yes, these are actually Booleans together and it's even made its own polygroups for us. I can even smooth all this out. Hopefully you enjoy live Booleans as much as I do because I think they are life-changing.